Hey there, train fanatics. Chris Bachman here. Welcome back to the channel. Behind me is a very large box, something very special, very excited about. We have the Lionel Limited Edition Trump number 4545 engine, SD70 ACE. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. I have only found a few of these that have come up for sale as they only made 450 of them. So to be able to acquire one, add to the collection is uh, really exciting for me. This particular example is brand new and never run. So, out of the 450 that were released a few years ago, you know, who knows how many are still in brand new as manufactured condition. This came from a uh, collector in Illinois who uh, retired and due to his age had to uh, get rid of his collection and had a, a friend sell it for him. Thankfully, they're very well packed. And despite all the millions of arrows on the box saying this side up, of course, UPS plops it sideways on my porch. <laughs> so hopefully uh, it's okay. So here we go. Donald Trump Legacy SD70 ACE number 4545. On the boat date of June 29th, 2020. Wow. 161. Well, we'll see what the number is. Uh, they are all individually numbered on the engine. Here's the little shipper box. Wow. wow. Really been looking forward to opening this. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right. Well, I guess we'll open it from the top over here. These uh, ST70 ACEs are very nice engines. And the two Trump engines released by MTH, the 2020 and 2024 editions, are SD70s as well. Okay, here's our orange box here. We'll go ahead and take it out of the shipper here and get a closer look at it. So you can uh, check out those MTH Trump engines in some of my other videos. This was the last Trump engine I needed to complete the collection of Trump engines that have, uh, to date, been released. Close a look here on our sticker. Legacy control, Bluetooth, rail sounds, fan driven smoke, dual electrocouplers, and most importantly for me with my small layout, 036 minimum curve. Wow. I've been looking for one of these for a long time. I'm really glad to find one in brand new condition. But uh, subsequently, I have seen a couple others come up. But uh, usually they're quite expensive due to their rarity and collectability. I think I got a, a fairly good deal on this one. Oh. Here's our, our manual. This is a standard uh, SD70 manual. Okay, now for the big reveal. 
Here we go. See how it looks. Ooh, yes. Nice. Beautiful. Of course, we have our Air Force One uh, blue colors here in white, which honestly is pretty much the same design as uh, the engine they put out for George Bush, which was 4141. And uh, they just uh, slapped on the new name and the new numbers here. So uh, nothing really original in that respect other than uh, it's for Donald Trump. And they only made 450 of these. Uh, the one they uh, later came out with for Joe Biden had a totally different, uh, unique um, design. But notwithstanding, uh, it does look uh, very stunning. So let's go ahead and take it out. really in there. Big engine. Wow. Pretty sweet. So top. These nice hard foam inserts here to protect the railings during shipment and storage. Here's the front. Get that great presidential seal on it. Okay. Bottom is where we have the uh, individual number for the unit. So this is number 81 out of 450. So we got a, a two digit one here. Cardboard here. So you see these uh, wheels here, nice pristine condition, never run. It was factory sealed. So according to Lionel, this unit is 17 and a half inches. So let's go ahead and just take a quick check here. Going from knuckle to knuckle, it's a, uh, oh, yeah, it's more than 17 and a half inches. <laughs> now let me get this uh, straightened out there. It's more like 19 inches end to end. So yeah, it's a big engine. So let's go ahead and take out our foam inserts here and uh, try not to mess up the handrails. Okay, and we got a little one in the front here. We got this little one in the back. Careful with these ones here. I'm gonna mess up the handrails. Well, let's do the side. Okay, and uh, come on here. Oh. oh, the whole side was just popping off there. <laughs> All right, well, I guess it's more or less secure. This one in the back is pretty, uh, pretty tight. Last one out. Here we go. All right. Well, I think we avoided any damages. Let's do a sleep. 
there. Right up front. Okay. All right, looking at the front here, we have our illuminated number boards. We have illuminated interior uh, with engineer and conductor figures. We have oscillating ditch lights, ground lights, safety handrails. We got a chain here. We have our presidential seal. Some great detail. Slight bit of soiling on the side here. It seems to rub right off. We got some uh, very small decals here with some lettering. Lots of little letterings here. And if you get a magnifying glass, I'm sure you can read it. <laughs> so we have a metal uh, pilot in the front, trucks, fuel tank, all metal. We have uh, other separately applied, applied details like this little horn over here. We got this. Uh, wheel in the back here on the side. Lots of handrails all over the place. This section pops off to access our controls. There we, go. So we do have a little magnet right there. We have our uh, program smoke and Bluetooth options. Here's one of our motors as well, so that's a great easy access for it. And to put it back on, we just slide it right down, pops right back into place. Looking at the rear of the engine, we got these uh, great little uh, ladder rungs going up, more handrails and safety chains. And we got these little uh, pipes coming off the back, that's a pretty cool detail. And of course, uh, more lights here, and our number, 4545 of the engine. For smoke, we go ahead and just uh, insert your drops right there. Nice easy access for it. Of course, we've got our fan driven smoke. This unit also plays Hail to the Chief. Okay, well, since this uh, unit's a couple years old, I went ahead and gave it a little bit of lubrication with our Lebel 107 as well as the uh, 102 for the gears. So hopefully it'll be a happy train and operate without any difficulties. Next we're going to go ahead and give it some power and see if it fires on up. All right, let's give it that power and see if it fires up.
thought we could use some uh, Trump theme freight to help us out here with our uh, engine. We have a, a number of custom pieces. So from Brady's Trains, we have the Donald J. Trump car here. And also from Brady's, the Drain the Swamp box car, both MTH Premier. From the Metka division of the TCA, we have these Make Trains Great Again, flat cars with trailers. We have it in uh, red here on Pennsylvania Railroad and blue trailer on New York Central. And last but not least, we have the Let's Go Brandon boxcar. So like this Trump engine, this was also manufactured by Lionel. A custom uh, run of 149 units, and this is number 99 out of those 149. Correction, that's 146 total of these Let's Go Brandon American First boxcars. So I've done videos on all of these items previously, so you can check those out. So we'll go ahead and now run the train.
All right, there we have it. The Lionel Donald Trump, number 4545. Limited edition, one of only 450 produced by Lionel. Does sound a little scratchy. I've had that same problem with uh, one of my MTH SD70s, and I just had to turn down the volume on it, and that seemed to uh, resolve that issue. So I'll see if I can adjust the volume of this one too. Other than that, it looks great. I'm so happy to have it as part of the collection. I hope uh, that you folks uh, enjoy checking it out with me and doing this unboxing. And um, if you have not already, please like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, check out our other videos. we got a lot of other uh, great Trump items. And if you're able to support us, we'd really appreciate it. Uh, we do have an account on Patreon. And uh, that will help us... Uh, Add some new cool things to the collections that we can check out and review them here for you. Okay, well, enough said. Hope you enjoyed it again. I'm so glad to have it. Took a long time to get one. And uh, it just looks great on the layout. Thank you all. Take care.